Wow, Steve, this place is amazing. Well, it's only about 4,000 acres, but it's nice. Holy schmouch, can we ride your horses? Don't be ridiculous, I don't ride the horses. Aren't you a bit worried about having waterfront property on a fault line? Of course not, I handpicked this piece of land myself. What's happening? Oh my goodness! Flash flood! The dam is breaking! Grab everybody! Steve, what are you doing? Don't worry, it's fine. He's not gonna make it. I'm gonna faint. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure this piece of land is safe. There go your horses, Steve. Oh, my Arabians! There go your trees, Steve! Oh, my trees! There goes your house, Steve! Oh, my house! Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Don't worry, guys. I found land. I'm safe. Oh! 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 This is actually kind of nice, huh? Hey guys, look at my new pool. Oh, <laughs> We're here at the geology department's new stream table. Today, Professor Radabaugh is going to show us all the cool things that you can do with it when you come to the open house. Let's go check it out. So, Professor Radabaugh, what is it that makes this stream table so special? Well, we are so thrilled to have this new stream table. It's from Little River Designs, and it's actually only the fourth one in existence. So, if it had a serial number, it would be four. <laughs> and uh, it's actually pretty big compared with lots of other stream tables in existence, and there are a bunch of other features we'll show you today that make it really new and unique. The best thing about a stream table is that you can actually study the things that happen in nature, but do it in a, in a confined setting, in a classroom, in a laboratory, and in, in a way that we can better understand the individual processes. Yes, yeah, so you can actually watch change happen really quickly. And that's something that's unique about this particular stream table. Most other stream tables have quartz sand in them, and so they're really heavy, and the sand takes a long time to respond to the action of the water. But this sand is actually made of plastic. So this thing is ground up salsa bowls from a a factory and uh, machine to different sizes. It's so actually the yellow is the very biggest of all. And um, we can see the yellow sitting on top of all these bars over here. Can you tell that? The, the yellow drops out first and just anchors these bars together where all the smaller ones kind of go in between and um, flow along with the, with the water through the channel. So that's a good way for us to see uh, where the fastest water flow is and what has happened to a system over time. One great thing the stream table can do is insert dye into the stream flow. And you can see the dye highlights the deepest parts of the flow, which we might have thought was over on the left, but it turns out is way over on the right. And it also highlights the most rapid parts of the flow because that's where all the blue dye comes out first. So here we have this deep channel we never would have known about unless we had the dye. All right, we can also control the angle of slope on the stream table, so just crank that down and as we do that, and we notice that more water is flowing out the bottom of the stream down toward the bucket in the bottom. There's a lot of rapid flow down at the end. Okay, now you can see all of these yellow particles coming out. That indicates rapid flow by these yellow bigger particles. And the meanders are changing upstream. Just by tilting the angle of the table, we've changed the entire system. Meanders are straightening out, new ones are forming. And it shows us just how dynamic the whole system is. Float on down to the Iring Science Center to get your hands in the water during the Stream Table Open House in room N111 on Wednesday, February 29th between 1 and 5 p.m. Hey guys, come check out my new Stream Table. You can't ride my Arabians, but you can have some refreshments. They're delish. <laughs>